Okay, let's turn off some a little music off. There you go. What up, you guys? Um, in this video here, um, I'm gonna bring to you how to you know how to protect from an expo. Sorry, guys. Um, but the expo is very, very um annoying sometimes. Uh, I mean, to me, it's like it doesn't matter to me if the opponent use it or not. I mean. You know, it's just a game, so it doesn't really um, get to me. But it is, it is annoying when, you know, when this game is about, like, strategy, basically. I mean, I hate when people just use rockets or even fireball. Really, dude? I mean, do something else. I had this video with this guy. He just kept, like, rocketing me with even fireball. And I'm like, dude, really? And I just kept sending him, like, my P.E.K.K.A. I mean, it's, it, gets, it gets annoying. But it's just game. So, uh, let me show you here a gameplay that I had just a few minutes ago right here. Uh, let's see how it went. I remember everything how it went. So this guy, as you can see, he is lower, um, basically lower level than me. I told him good luck. He I don't think he said nothing back. That's fine with me. <clears throat> as you can see, he's playing. Um, I can see the expos right there. I mean, you can see I sent out my Pekka there. I'm guessing he has a little bomber thing. I don't know what's it called. I forgot the name of the site. Thing, but oh, bomb, I think it's a cannon, a bomb, bomb cannon. So he does send his um his little spear goblins there. He does put him his bomb tower. Okay, congrats. By that time, I didn't know if he had the you know the arrow at all. So in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure I knew he did had it. But I mean, he could, when you could tell when a person has um expo, he always puts in like either a test low. He puts like a bomb tower. Then you know he puts all these like um different type of defense. Uh, around his um base so you can tell who who plays um you know expos and you see he here he has his um um his what is that flame tower i think you call them uh i, know, uh, I forgot the specific name of these cars sometimes there goes so i'll put down my mega pickup there I think i'm about to write about now there you go yeah i waited for his tower to you know run out so i put my um i call him my mega pickup there so he's taking his sweet time uh as you see i put my down I, that's when i was like what this guy has an expo really dude come on i mean the thing about expo is if you don't defeat the guy at least try to get a draw with them don't even try to you know i mean they would they would just murder you with the expo i mean Especially if you're low, my just try. I mean, right now I knew either I had to beat him or I just go straight into defense mode. So in my head, I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother, you know, trying to attack this guy. I'm just gonna go straight to defense, just protect my towers. I'm not gonna let him get a little laugh out of him beating me. Um, so I'm over here just trying to go into defense. So I send my prince out there, I try to do some little damage there. You see, but variants are very strong. He does put another expo down there, so it's so freaking annoying. Um, just seeing players just play expos. I mean, there's no, there was not nothing fun of this game right now. I mean, it would just be basically just trying to defend my base. I'm not trying to make him win. I'm not trying to get get him to laugh at me or him to think that yeah he's gonna beat me with expo. No, you're not. I'm just gonna go straight into defense. I'm gonna set anybody to have. I send Prince out there. I send Dark Prince. I send Barbarians at him. I mean, I'm not gonna let him. You know, get that good little feeling that he beat me with his um expos. Um, I, I I don't have a problem with expos. I mean, if people use it, that's fine by me. But I'm not gonna let nobody beat me with the expos. I mean, if if, if I'm gonna lose, we're gonna lose. It's a draw. I'm not gonna let him, you know, get the little laugh saying, "Aha, I got you with the expo." To me, expo is so so overpowered. I mean, it did just. I mean, just aiming your base. I mean, your base can be gone completely completely gone so uh, you, you see him here you see my licks are all full but i'm trying to see where he's gonna put an expos at because i do not want him to aim at my towers so i'm ve being very patient here just trying to see where he put his expos so i can just put my pekka there i mean pekka he can take some serious damage so i just put my pekka there right away as you can see there i mean you just gotta either you go after him um, especially when you see bases like this where they have bomb towers and, you know, all these stuff, Teslas in there, just go straight into defense, guys. I mean, there's no way your, your, um, hero is going to go into their base at all. So I'm here, I'm just trying to protect right now. I do throw a musketeer there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do. I do throw it down there. As you can see, she's down there just going for it, man. There she goes. Look at that. And he puts another expo there. So I do put my Pekka there. I mean, Pekka's going to take all the damage. It does not matter to me. Along with this ends as a draw. Yep. 
Yes, for the draw, baby. I mean, there you go. I think I laugh at him. Let me see. Do I laugh? Yep, there you go. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude. I mean, he thought he was going to get me, but no, you wouldn't. I do have a video here where I do actually defeat a guy with the expo, which I didn't know he had an expo here. <clears throat> so his name is James. Is it James Bond? Bond? So, I, I, I honestly, the matches that I do enjoy is matches where you go at it, you know. I hate matches where either the opponent is stalling or he just, you know, you know. I hate, I hate those type of matches. I like matches where it just one ahead and he beats my tower, I beat his tower. And then at the end, it just, you know, basically whoever throws in their cards. I mean, that's what this game supposed to be about, guys. I hate when people just throw in their big old rocket launchers or their fireball. I'm like, dude, really? I mean, that's not the type of game. I mean, you you got. I know there's some strategies where you could use, you know, um, the, like the fireball and, and stuff like that. I, I think it's legit when people do, you know, use it, but don't constantly just keep using it and using it. I'm like, dude, that's no fun of a game like that. To me, I do not enjoy a game like that. To me, it's so annoying when that happens. Um, so here, I mean, it, it's a pretty, this match, it was a decent match, you know, I wasn't, you know, really expecting him for having expo, only he shot me when he did had the expo. Um, usually when I see Elixir, either I think about it having either a Golem deck, or either a P.E.K.K.A., like a Mega P.E.K.K.A., or even, a, a, you know, um, stuff like, either Hunts, uh, that's what I think about it, and, and I know a lot of people run Elixir with, um, expos, so this channel, you know, get more you know their towers up and stuff like that but i mean this game was pr pretty going good as you can see he was hiding his expos pretty pretty legit i mean i didn't even know he had expo until i like, probably at the end of the game when i was like whoa this guy had an expo as you see i do take one of his towers down um that was perfectly fine with me there i took one of his towers down Mainly when I take a tower down from an opponent i always go into defense because i do not want them to target none of my towers so mainly that's what I do, guys. Once I take one tower, I do try to aim at least at the other tower as well. But, oh, there you go. I found out there goes the expo there. So I'm over here like, you know, like, what should I do? What should I do? He, you see, he does target my um my tower there. That's the thing about expo. I mean, even though if you put something in front of it, it's going to keep targeting the, the tower unless you beat it. You know, unless you take it down. That's the only way it will stop from shooting your tower there. So as you can see, he brought down my tower all the way to 700, 600. That's insane amount of damage that one, one um, you know that one elixir did. So I did took out his um, <laughs> I laughed at him there. So that's pretty cool game, you know. I I like this type of battles. I mean, even though he he didn't his expo that much, but I mean his expo. Look how much damage his expo just did. I mean, serious. I mean that was like. 600. I mean, I think I should have just let him have the tower. I don't know why I didn't even try to defend it. I should have just went straight to get his, uh, uh, you know, try to get three crown. I, th I think I did get three crown here. Yep, I did. Yep, my pick. I did hit it for the win. Three crowned it. Amazing. I love, um, you know, I love battles like these. I mean, he didn't use his expo that much. He just used it at the last minute, which I thought was pretty, you know, I was like, okay. <clears throat> that was a pretty cool match there. So, I mean, guys, I mean, the, when you see an expo, do not, you know, Think it's the end of the game um just go for it guys i mean try to defeat it if you can't defeat it just try to defend your base as much as possible you can um the same way i did with my mega pekka you know he can take damage that's just like pekka pekka can take some damage and every time i you know that's the thing i do i always try to wait and see what the opponent does that way so i can know you know what to throw in if I know I can beat him, I'll go straight into battle if I know I can't I should go straight into defense you know that's what i do Especially when it comes to Xbox. Uh, if I can take down their Xbox, I'll go straight into it. As you can watch. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope, you know, this helped out, you know, regards Expo. If you think it's so... Oh, Expo is not so OP. It's just so annoying how, you know, just by that little tower, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I call it tower defense. Whatever you want to call it. It's just one little Expo just takes down your whole base completely. That's kind of like nonsense. Uh, that's too like overpowered. This um, cash for you also find a way how to do find a way how to make the card you know less OP like that. I mean that's too much. But it it is you can defeat it. Yes you can guys. I she watched two of my videos there. I uh, defeated one and then I went straight to defense on one. Um, hope you enjoyed this video guys. Um, get a thumbs like like hit the like button if you want to watch more cash for all videos. I I'm in love with this game guys. Have not stopped playing with it. 
And yeah, so I mean, victory draw. I think on one of these, I did win to draw. I, this guy right here was so annoying. You know what? I'm gonna let y'all watch one more video where I was like so annoyed about it, and I was like really, really annoying about it. I think it's this guy right here with the rocket and the with his um rockets and his little fireball there. <clears throat> it's just annoying, guys. To me, it's just so annoying when you know people do that. I mean, like why? I mean, why can't we just go? against each other to see who has the best cards you know so here goes my prince he of course he dies uh, i mean i basically lost elixir there but that's fine with me. he goes with the rocket there you go one rocket <laughs> man i'm telling you guys that rocket threw he took a lot of damage away from me i mean i'm too i'm pretty sure we the same level so that i had 2352 points man he took a lot of damage away from me <clears throat> Okay, he calls a little barbarian. Uh, yeah, of course, just one little arrow. Yep. So I put my my Pekka down there. Let's see what my Pekka does. <laughs> Pekka walks like a pimp. He's over there limping and stuff. That's pretty cool. I like Mega Pekka. I don't know what I do here, guys. I mean, I'm just showing you a video why I'm so annoying when people do this. I mean, I'm just, I don't know what happened here. I, I know I sent him my Pekka there. So my Pekka just taking his sweet time. You know, he's like, care, no care in the world. He's just, you know, taking his sweet time. I do drop a Prince and Dark Prince there. He says, wow, well, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's like, Ooh, uh, Prince and Dark Prince with Mega Pekka. So, yeah, he does kill basically everybody. So he dropped his Fireball plus his... You know, that rocket launcher, whatever you want to call it, rocket launcher, ro rocket bomb. So I'm over here like, really, dude? I mean, he just took out basically my whole Prince, my Mega Pekka with Dark Prince, just with doing those two um, techniques there. I mean, it's pretty legit. I mean, I mean, I don't rage quit on this game a lot, but I do get kind of mad when people do that. I think it's like so dumb. See, like like this, I like I like when you go like this, one on battle there, see? I, I, like, I like stuff like this, you know, you counter each other, you know, you find a way how to beat each other, you know. I, I like stuff like this, when things happen like this. I hate it when they just, you know, go out there, pull their Tesla, like, really, dude, come on, man. But, I, I, I mean, I get the point of the game, you got to go into defense. I think that's very smart when people play like that, you know, they put, unexpectedly put the tower. I, I do this sometimes, so I'm not going to say, you know, don't do it. So, I mean, I know you got to play defense in this game. So, I mean, as you see, Prince goes there. Prince just taking down, taking down. So, he throws another rocket there. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's another rocket there. So, I'm over here thinking about, yeah, I'm going to get his tower. But, man, those Tesla, wow. I mean, it's just so annoying. I mean, I hate Tesla, too, as well. Tesla just, like, keeps me from even heading towards the heroes. So, there you go, another fireball. Uh, so he's gonna hit me with another rocket. I'm sure in a few minutes you're gonna see another rocket. So I put my uh, tower there. So this is sudden death here. This one over here, like yeah, I got just 290 points left. Just to take him out. So I put my prince there, take down his hog, hog rider, and another rocket. <laughs> okay, and of course I put my mega pekka there, just to see what's gonna happen. I put my spirit goblin. Thinking that I, I put him that uh, on that side because I thought it would hit, you know, aim at the Tesla, but it didn't. But that's okay. So I'm over here. Honestly, I'm over here thinking about, yeah, I got this guy, you know, in my pocket and, and palm on my hands. But no, guys, I mean, there goes another rocket. I mean, just 80 points away and bam, fireball. I mean, mainly the thing that annoyed me the most is that he didn't even much hit my tower with none of his heroes. Not even once. All he did was just rocket launch and fireball my tower. That was all he did. So I'm over here like, really, dude? I mean, I'm over here just throwing out my heroes at him. You know, it, that this I wouldn't stand if he would have thrown, like, all his heroes at me. And then he, he only had, like, a few points left and he threw his rocket. This, but, I mean, he just, the only way he took my tower down was by rockets and with fireball. I mean, it's, I, I don't care. I mean, it's just a game. But I'm just letting you know how, you know, really... Um, hope you enjoyed this video guys I'm not here complaining or anything about it. I enjoy this game even if I lose or win I'm just you know, uh, showing you a few videos uh, you know just in case you're rocking into the same problems or you're like yeah that is kind of annoying when you know nobody attacks you you're just throwing these random X bows and all these other stuff but I'm, I, it's a, I love this game um, give it a thumbs up guys uh, show you a video how to encounter um, X bows and how to just you know leave I mean you gotta go defense guys um, thank you so much, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time. Lucky is out. Peace.